Hi, this is Steve, K8BZ. Welcome back to the series of videos on how to use the Cantronics Cam XL dual port multi-mode TNC for communications on packet radio primarily on VHF and HF as well as some other digital modes and CW. First I'd like to thank Cantronics for supplying the Cam XL for use in making these videos. There'll be a link to the Cantronics website in the description of this vi video for you to follow if you'd like to take a look at some of their other communications products. There's also a link in the description of this video for other videos on how to set up and use TNCs in general, particularly Cantronics TNCs. But this series of videos covers just things that are specific to the Cam XL TNC. The other link to the other training videos will give you much more detailed information on how to set up and use uh, dual port TNCs, uh, single port TNCs for VHF, uh, as well as how to use a program called Packet Message Manager or Outpost Packet Message Manager that automates much of the features. So please refer to that other link to the other playlist for much more detailed information. But we're going to go over setting the levels in the CAM XL in this video. These are the transmit audio levels. First, we'll need to be familiar with three, uh, correction, we'll need to be familiar with four commands in the CAM XL in order to set the audio transmit levels. Uh, the first command that you'll need to be familiar with is the stream switch command. You'll also need to be familiar with the status command, also the HBOD command and the calibration command. And we'll go through a description of those commands and why you need to know the function of those commands in order to set the audio transmit levels. Let's get started setting the audio transmit levels uh, in the CAM XL. First we're going to open our dumb terminal program. We're using IP serial which is part of the uh, Outpost Packet Message Manager suite of programs. Then we're, we're going to turn on our TNC and we'll get the soft reset sign on message and go right into the command mode with the command prompt. Now the first command that you need to be familiar with is the stream switch command. The stream switch is used to switch between the VHF port and the HF port. Uh, when we're setting the audio transmit level on the VHF port we need to make sure we're we have that port active. If we're doing HF, by the same token, we need to make sure we're active on the HF port. Now you change ports by use of the stream switch character. The stream switch character is the vertical line. Uh, you'll see the vertical line on the, after the command prompt. Then you have to tell it which port you want to make active. Port 2 is the VHF port, so we enter a number 2. Then you have to enter a stream switch letter. Uh, the, the stream letter will be a letter that will designate the stream. You can have up to 10 streams active on a port. The streams are designated by a letter A through J, so in other words we could make the active stream J on port 2, which is the VHF port. Okay, so we've, uh, we've changed to stream J, which is the tenth letter of the alphabet. Uh, stream A would be be A through J which would represent 1 through 10, stream 1 through 10. So if we want to verify what stream and what port we're active on, we're going to use the second command I mentioned, the status command. The, the short version of that is just the letter S. When I enter the letter S, it's going to tell us all of the active streams and ports in the TNC. It'll only show the ones that are active and not the ones that are inactive. Uh, right now we're on stream J on port which is the 10th stream on port 2 which is the VHF port and then this IO means this is the input output stream. You can have other streams active but you can only have one stream active as the input and one stream active as the output at any given time and the current status of that stream and port is disconnected. So again just for demonstration we're going to switch to stream A on port 2 the VHF port. So we're going to use the stream switch the vertical line, port 2, stream A. Then we're going to use the status indicator to check the status. And the status of that is uh, uh, stream A, port 2, 
is the input-output stream and its status is disconnected. The other two commands that we'll need to know are the calibration command and the HBOD command, and they will be described uh, when, when the time comes for us to actually use those commands. Now we're ready to use the calibration command to set the audio transmit level on VHF. Uh, first, let's, uh, let's take a look at the CAMXL manual on the subject. This is the portion of the manual that describes how to calibrate or how to set the audio transmit levels for both HF and VHF. The part we want to refer to is right here. Adjusting the level to achieve about 3 to 3.5 kilohertz deviation from the transmitter. Now my transmitter is an ICOM 7000 and it doesn't have an internal means to measure the deviation level. Uh, most transmitters don't. In fact, I don't really know of one that does, but there may be some out there. So how are we going to adjust the audio level during transmit when we don't have a means to measure the deviation? Well, there is a way to achieve that uh, to a reasonable degree of accuracy. Now we're going to use the calibration command to do that, but what we need to have is a second receiver to receive the signal. Uh, so you want to set your transmitter to transmit into a dummy load and you want to use an HT for example uh, to receive the audio signal or to receive the uh, uh, transmission th from the dummy load into an HT which is what I'm using and you can listen to the audio levels and we're going to use that to adjust the audio transmit level in our VHF radio. Now let's take a look first at the calibration command. So if I type cal, well, let me, let me re-verify the status. We're on uh, stream A on port 2 which is VHF, which is what we want. So let's go into the calibration mode and we'll take a look at the menu here so to speak. Uh, when you enter the calibration command, it's going to re-verify that you're on the VHF port in the calibration mode at 1200 baud. That's the first line. Now the menu here shows that R, and uh, typing R on the keyboard will put the TNC into receive. Typing M will transmit the space tone. Uh, correction, typing M obviously will send the mark tone. Uh, entering an S will send the space tone. T will send a square wave and B will send a random uh, switching back and forth between tones. Touching the minus or the plus key will adjust the transmit level. Obviously minus will lower the transmit level, plus will increase the audio uh, transmitter input level to the transmitter. Entering an S will exit the calibration uh, mode and put you back to the command mode and, and bring you back to the command prompt. So if I enter an X it's going to do a soft reset and we'll get the sign on message. So let's clear the screen, get a clean screen, and we'll go back into the calibration mode. Okay, now I'm just going to send a marked tone so you can listen to how the level of the tone changes as I press plus or minus. Now if you can hear that, it's a very soft tone, but I'm going to hit the plus several times. and now minus. And then I'll go back into the receive mode by typing R. Now you'll notice when I hit the plus or minus key this series of numbers here will increase. All we need to be concerned about are the last two numbers that tell us what the uh, give you a digital number representation of what the audio level is. So we'll go back to the, let's do a space tone this time. So now it's 14, 13, 12. Each time I push the minus key, now it's reduced to the point where we don't even hear an audio tone anymore. We'll go back to the receive mode. Now I'll explain what we want to do. We want to start at a very low level. We're going to increase the audio transmit level on the VHF port until we don't notice an increase in the loudness or volume of the signal in our receiver, in our HT that we're using to receive this signal. Uh, again, I want to mention, you want to use a very, very low transmit level. I'm transmitting into a dummy load and I'm only transmitting, uh, it, it shows uh, 
it doesn't even register on the RF output meter on the radio for this. And I've also removed the antenna from the HT. It still gives us a very strong signal into the HT, but it keeps us from overloading the HT with, a, with an overwhelming signal. So let's go back to, we'll start with the space tone. And I'm just going to increase the audio level. I'm just beginning to hear the tone now, although it's very soft. And we're going to keep going until we don't notice the loudness increase anymore. Still increasing. And right about there, I don't notice an increase in the loudness. So we're going to back it off until we notice the loudness decrease. 31. There, it decreased. We'll go down one more. And we'll stop there. Now when we want to listen to the mark and space tones both. Uh, and they should be they should be of equal volume or equal loudness uh, or very close. So we're going to go back to the space tone and mark. The the higher tone, if if one is louder than the other, it should be the higher tone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it up a couple more. I'm just pressing S and M alternately. That's about maximum level. Yeah, there's no increase there. So go back down to 28, 27, 26. And I can hear it decrease there. So we're going to leave it set at 26 right now for VHF. So we're going to make a note of that on VHF. Just jot down VHF. Uh, the level is set now at 26. And we can use X. And we'll do a soft, the TNC does a soft reset and we get the sign on message. Now, if I go back into the calibration mode again, it's going to show us at the bottom the transmit level on VHF is now at 26. That's where we left it when we made the adjustment. So let's exit, do a soft reset and get the sign on message. We'll clear the screen. And we'll get set up to adjust our transmit level on HF. Now we're going to describe the HBOID command. Uh, we need to use this command in order to enable the HF port. The HF port is initially disabled, uh, or by default is disabled, in the CAM XL. You need to enable the HF port in order to transmit on HF. So let's take a look at the HBOID command and we'll see what the uh, default setting is. Uh, the short version of the HBOD command is just HB. When I enter HB, it's going to tell us what the current setting is. All command responses in the CAM XL will show the individual settings for HF before the slash and the individual setting for VHF after the slash. Uh, some commands are identical for each port and can't be set individually. In those commands, the response will just show the, the setting without the slash because it's identical for each port. In this case, the default setting for VHF is 1200 baud. Now, this is the transmission baud rate over the air. Uh, the H baud command for HF is at zero, which means the HF port is disabled. Uh, if you look at the uh, CAM XL TNC, you'll see when HBOD is set at zero for HF that there is no tuning indicator lighting at all on the HF side of the TNC. Uh, the the BOD rate for packet on HF is 300 BOD. So if we want to set 300 BOD, we're going to type HB to tell it which command we're setting. We're going to type 300 baud for HF and 1200 baud for VHF. When we press enter, it's going to tell us what the previous setting of that command was. Uh, the previous setting was H baud 0 slash 1200. To verify the current setting, we just enter HB. It tells us the current setting is 300 baud and 1200 baud. Now when you do this, you'll see that the uh, tuning indicator uh, uh, for the uh, HF port 
becomes active and you will see the tuning indicator begin to flicker. Uh, that is, uh, uh, I am connected to the auxiliary port in the back of the radio so uh, that is not uh, affected by the AF and RF gain controls on the front of the radio. The audio output there is fixed so regardless of where your AF or RF gain is set there's going to be audio going to the TNC. If you're connected to the mic jack and you turn the audio AF gain all the way down uh, you may see that tuning indicator will stop functioning until you tune uh, turn the AF gain up, but uh, connected to the auxiliary jack, it stays on. Uh, we'll show you in a little uh, uh, little window box uh, when you set HBOD to zero, it's going to turn off the HF uh, port. If I set HBOD to 300, it's going to turn it back on, and you'll see how the uh, uh, the tuning indicator on HF goes on and off depending on whether that port is active. Now we're ready to begin setting the uh, transmit audio level on the HF port. Fortunately on HF we don't need to use a separate receiver. We can use the rig's uh, power and ALC meter uh, to adjust the audio transmit level on HF. The first thing we want to do is uh, do a status check, make sure we're on the correct port. Status check, uh, we are not. Uh, so. We have to set HBOD to 300 to enable the HF port. So now we have the BOD rate at 300 for HF. Then we need to change ports with the vertical bar, port 1, stream A, another status check, and we're all set. We're on uh, port 1, which is HF, stream A is the input-output port, and it's disconnected. We're transmitting into a dummy load, so we'll go to the calibration setting and then we're going to record the uh, going to record the radio meter uh, we have it set so we can record the power output and ALC setting uh, the transmit level is 34 right now so we're going to go ahead and transmit a mark tone the power output you can see is very low so we're going to increase with the plus sign we're at 34 going to go up to 35, 36. We can see the power level gradually increasing here. We should get up to around 75 percent. And you'll see the ALC rating just begins to come up. We'll drop down one more. It's kind of between 50 and 75 percent. Let's try a space tone. Space tone is about the same, mark tone is about the same, the ALC reading is very low, uh, which is about where we need it to be. We're going to go back to receive, switch off transmit, and that's, that's going to set the levels quite well. If you're using the microphone input, you want to make sure your speech processor is off. You don't want any speech processing or compression. Uh, so. Uh, make sure that is switched off. Also, make sure your rig is capable of a 100% duty cycle. Uh, this digital mode is a 100% duty cycle. If your rig is not capable of that, make sure you don't exceed the maximum 100% duty cycle power limit for your particular radio. Then write down your, uh, your transmit level uh, reading. For mine, it's uh, 44 on HF and keep keep those in your records for setting your audio levels and that basically completes your audio level settings for HF and VHF. Thanks for watching our video today on setting the audio transmit levels in the CAM XL. If you have any questions or problems please feel free to email me at k8bz at arrl.net and I'll help you out any way I can. Also, another thanks to Cantronics for supplying the CAMXL TNC for these videos. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you'd like to be notified of other videos in the series as they come out.